So you have multiple form of the compositing. One of them it's called collage type. And overall, think about this. It is kind of like a, a scrapbook people sometimes put photos in. So you don't have a too much realistic effect. In this case, for example, we have a piece of paper, old one, and we'll just add some photos. So you can place them in different combinations. And working on this, we can add this more look like a 3D, some photo book, you know, add some effect. So let's look as example how we can do very easy with these images. So the one effect which will bring pop up, it's add shadows on the bottom. So we'll go create first image, double time click and go select drop shadows. By the way, in a Photoshop CC 2015, if you don't have it all of these layer styles, remember right here you have it FX. If you click, you can add additional layer style. And look on this, it's nice. So you can add double drop shadows if you need it, which is kind of very nice. Um, I like not just a single as before, so you can add multiple, multiple styles and mix them. It's much more useful at this point. Okay, so right here we add a shadow. You can see we can set um, angle. Okay, also let's increase size and a little distance. So right here what I want to do, it's kind of because we look uh, from the top to simulate paper, we need to see how the shadow is going. And mostly it will be from top to bottom. It's probably the easiest. We'll add kind of like footer. And let's add maybe even shadow going from some corners. So in this case, we can take and adjusting this way, or if you hold your mouse, left click, see, we can move the shadows around. So I'll just place right maybe around this area. Okay, let's go to decrease slightly distance and shadows will just bring a little bit sharper. The one thing about shadows, the closer that's a subject, the sharper they are. But look right here, we have it kind of a little bit too far apart of these corners and this make this paper floating, not sitting on this. So it's meaning we need to bring a little bit closer to the area and let's move it just almost right here. Okay. Now it's look a little bit better. Also notice it's kind of almost laying outside. So next, remember we add additional shadows. If you don't have it, you just go and click and drop shadow. So this shadow, I'll disable glow, use the global light. I just want to add overall effect around pictures. So like shadow was for some time. So we'll use it multiply and I select color. I want to use this kind of yellowish color or darker like stain. So we'll pick stain color on this. Okay, let's go to increase slightly size. And you can see right here, see how it's increasing. In some cases, it's help us to create this the photo almost was there and start kind of affecting paper itself. Okay, so let's go put zero distance zero. So it will be just going from all angles. And right here we have 100% blend mode multiply. And a multiply will provide us shadows, but it's still casting colors. And maybe, you know, let's try maybe bring even slightly down a little bit more darker. Okay, maybe right here. Okay. Okay, so right here we have a drop and let's just play slightly with the size. So right there, I think about this area will look good. So all what we do, we'll just bring additional shadows, one drop on the side cutter, other ones almost like effect from the paper. However, this effect will going both ways. It will affect our smart object, our image, as well as effect outside. So let's do this as well. I think at this point we're okay. Okay, and next we need to add inside the, our object. Let's go select and right here we'll go to use it glow. We've used inner shadows or inner glow. You can do both. So let's go with inner shadows. And you can see it is inside of our object we're casting. So for this we'll same thing. We'll just go select the color and add let's select same kind of darker. Kind of casting off so you can see right on the edges coming very nicely we can just a little bit add on a size we can pop up um opacity so we can see a little bit better and with this distance zero 
And I'm just trying to kind of see which way. I don't want too much, just a little bit, maybe like right there. But you can see we have it already very nice distinguished. So this is effect, maybe like glue was affecting both layers. Okay, this is just a photo, so we don't put it any frame. Sometimes people add maybe corners on a side and we can look on those, some small elements. Okay, so let's go ahead, click OK. Um, this is easy way to do, we'll just right click and go copy layer style. So easy way to do to pass. Let's go says paste, paste layer style. Okay, and we'll do same right here. Okay, you can see how they are layout. If you do photo book, you're not necessarily will overlay. Personally, I don't like with image overlaid. So we can just take right here, control T, scale. So they don't touch each other. Maybe around this area, we'll take and put it right here. The reason why I kind of try to rearrange them because it is um, story almost going. So you can see right here, he's assemble, he's showing and next he's walking. So it's kind of like story going, like you read the story. Okay, same way we actually can go ahead and create some corners right here to hold some images this way. So we have it several ways and it's up to your imagination how you want to create. You can even create a scotch tape. But idea of this, you'll just go ahead, we'll create a square. Okay, let's fill up with any color at this point. Okay, we can go ahead, rotate, okay. And let's go just cut this piece. So all what I da did is just create this angle, okay idea of this angle so we can go ahead and place somewhere like this and it's almost sometimes people glue in it's how you hold some photos in places you know kind of like this so um let's scale down and we'll go work on this one so we'll scale a little bit down and normally what we'll go to do just bring a little bit over all I think this is about right, kind of like this, not too big angle. I think this is a good one. And next we're going to add some elements, same with the style layers, so we can work and apply to this. And after this, we can just go ahead and copy all over places. Okay, for this, let's go ahead, open style, and we're going to gradient overlay. Notice the gradient overlay now going for this image. So let's go ahead, open. We'll select first color. And we can just set, maybe, you know, something like right there, kind of. Okay, let's go select other color gradient. And we can go, so they don't need to be too much different, okay, just slightly, but it's help us to create maybe a wider, right here. Okay, let's go click OK. Also notice, are we going from uh, top to bottom so we can modify linear so it's go from one edge to another we'll just leave it 100 percent opacity so let's go work with a little bit shadows first we drop shadow let's disable our global light so i want to use it local we have it shadows increasing right on side but here's interesting things because if this is edges is glue i want to actually add shadow right on the end right this place so we'll go drag you can see right here just select and place it just slightly this edge let's reduce shadow okay we'll go distance we run like this just a little little bit okay and we can go ahead take some shadows even down so we'll just have a little bit popping up, but with too much distortion, okay? Click OK, zoom out, so it's already look better, except right these edges. We need to add some more interesting fact to them. So to this one, we want to add um, inner shadows, probably. So yeah, let's do this way. We'll do similar, and you notice nicely it's copy all previous. We save a lot of time on this. 
we just add to the element just maybe on side slightly like this is add somewhat bevel look we also can go inside and let's look on our bevel and impose so just on the sides make kind of bending slightly effect we'll take our depth and reduce our size okay again we can preview see if it's add now I think the flatten was looking a little bit better, so let's don't worry about that. Okay, pop up a little bit on our shadows. Okay, it's look, but I think it's look a little bit clean. We need to add some gringy effect to this. So we want to overlay with the texture. Okay, so let's add some of the texture to this. Um, we'll go back to, actually before this, let's switch Press just control I. So I want to instead black just have white triangle as default. Okay. And we'll go to convert this add maybe pattern overlay. Can okay, we have the multiple patterns? We can noisy selecting. So we'll just go. You know what? Let's go from the top and I'll just select one that is a kind of default. You have it kind of like material type. Okay, you'll notice it does not showing because our gradient a little bit overriding, and you notice we can take the gradient and kind of reduce. That will add. We can also switch to different mode on our gradient, and in this case, they all can match kind of together. So what I will do, we'll just add maybe just like little like right there. Let's go to gradient, maybe switch to um. Let's look on a different color screen look good actual screen they look nice we can also use it multiplied yeah we can let's switch to multiply go back to pattern and just just slightly not too much just a little bit so we still have this kind of texture okay there you go you can see it's now look much um interesting something there okay and next um we'll just press ctrl j duplicate it we can take this corner and add to this area okay so like right there we can add those corners all over the places okay let me go ahead modify them as well okay. just put them on top like right there okay we can take this corner so this moment and just you know what group them control G to group so here is a one example how say you can also use it as a tapes but similar effect we only need a transparency and actually, you know what, even right here, if we add not all transparency, but even like this, when you add slightly visible on the end, you can see it's kind of had a little bit more effect over the corners. Okay, so let's go duplicate that one. Same, we can just take each of them. repositioning okay right here and let's do the last one you don't need to do exactly the same you can just modify or remove them and we'll just take duplicate one more reposition other one so 
So you can see we just duplicate it. And in some cases, if you've done, I done a long time ago, but I did do some play a little bit with scrubbing and those corners, they come in a pocket. So they will, most time they will be same. In some cases, they actually even cut inside the paper and you just stick your uh, photo in the paper itself. But right here, you can see we already added a um, couple things we can add. We can add a small piece of papers with the names or write so people can put it this way. Or you can just create it um, with the writing, like a pen hand writing. So let's maybe do this. And for that one, I'll just go select the text button. Let's go to see what kind of fonts. And I have it multiple fonts in collections. You know, when you start working, I do recommend for you if you have it, um, for some reason, if you have it options to fonts, just always look, you can download it for free at the uh, Font Squirrel or other ones, or you can purchase. So here we have it one okay let's go change color we want to switch there may be something right here blue and let's switch the mode we want to mode go let's go with soft light nope overlay probably will be or multiply if we want very strong remember multiply will cast some of the coloring could use the opacity to take slightly down. The also other effect we can do is if we take this writing, bring all the way down to our paper okay, right here. And if you double time click, you will open layer style. And right here, options blend with, and we can have it underlay um, layer style. So and look what's happening. If I go, it's kind of start dissolving some white areas so let's say we go closer i want to disable so we can preview when you want merge and kind of more blend with the texture of the paper if we're going inside layer style and with this blending underlay style so let me go white a little bit you can see how it's dissolving in some areas with like white going so we can go um work on this one hold down alt key click you can expand so it will make a little bit smoother effect and we can see how we can take this texture and slightly apply it you can do same with the darker areas like in this case same things so we can apply and just you know add this way so the nice things about doing this way if we move, look how it, you see the texture changing as well. So it does have this effect of the texture going through our font and make it look a little bit more um, as it belong in that place. So right here, we'll just place it. And we can add same things like maybe text in other areas. We're just copying this style if needed. But overall, here's the um, how we can create a simple collage of photos, create like almost album. And this is another type of compositing, um, not photorealistic, but it does make fun time when you need to represent or do some other photo kind of collage in this way. Thank you for watching this tutorial from Geek at Play Studio.